Hello everyone, my name is Sumit and welcome to another chess video. This video I'm going to show you a great game played in the European Team Championship which concluded last week. And uh, the game was between the two-time World Championship challenger Jan Nipomniashi of Russia and uh, the eight-time Russian champion Peter Spidler. It's a fascinating game uh, in the King's Gambit which is a very dynamic and rich opening with uh, rich history and a lot of attacking possibilities. Jan Nepomineshi also has uh, published a chessable course on the King's Gambit. It was, an, it was a very exciting game and it was, uh, it was, it was a stunning uh, spectacle for me and that's why I wanted to show you. So without further ado, let's get started. So the game starts with 1e4 and e5 um, and f4. This is the King's Gambit. So the basic idea of the opening is uh, white is trying to distract the e-pawn away so that he can get a two-pawn center pawns on e4 and d4 and quick development and um, and an attack against the black king so you can do f4 and knight f3 so you cannot play d4 immediately there's a variation with bishop c4 but uh, knight f3 basic idea is um, you know since this diagonal is weak uh, the queen can come to h4 and um, it'll be it'll be difficult for white if that happens so knight e7 there are many other possibilities like uh, d6 is a it's a move um and there's other moves like uh, g5 um there is knight c6 we should there are a lot of lot of possibilities but so let's choose knight e7 e4 uh, taking control of the center we have the classical center now pawns on e4 and d4 d5 this is the idea of knight e7 the would be possible with knight first on x they have been driven away with e5 we should d3 c5 right? striking in the center and knight c3 look at uh, the white piece development all the pieces are developed uh, and if black white captures this pawn on f4 he would be very happy uh, pawn takes e4 knight takes d4 Pawn takes e4, knight takes e4. The position is roughly balanced, but uh, white is slightly ahead in development, and his knights are uh, well placed in two central squares, e4 and d4. It's a very nice spectacle to see the knights in the center. Um, you no, know, black cannot take the d4 knight because of the should be by discovery, so that is not possible. Um, Knight g6 supporting the f4 pawn. H4 trying to drive the knight away from uh, g6 so that uh, he can capture on f4 with the tempo. Knight c6 challenging the knight on d4. Knight takes c6. Takes c6. Now the position is a little bit uh, cleared. White has a uh, very, very good lead in development and uh, he controls the central squares. Black bishops are still yet to develop, and the king is still in the center. We need to uh, X-ray the king. We should be for check. This is an excellent move. Uh, now C3 is not possible because C3 would be would be weak. A lot of variations, and uh, bringing back the knight won't be a good idea because uh, Black can trade on C3 and play queen E7. Trading the trading the queens and the game will be level. So uh, white plays bishop d2, takes d2, takes d2, castle and long castle. Now, if you look at the position very carefully, white has got a very good uh, uh, lead in development. His pieces are well placed, and he has got a pawn on h4, trying to, and he would play h5 in the next move. Uh, bishop g4 attacking the e1 rook, h5. Um, threatening the knights, uh, and knight moves to e7, to e5. Beg your pardon. Uh, taking the, the the bishop on d1 won't be a good idea because of h, h takes uh, g6, and you have to you are forced to capture back, and then um, after hg hg, uh, the rook will the bishop will be captured by the rook, and white has got a very good, and also 
advantage uh, in material. Ninety five, green F four, green B B eight. This is this is uh, this is an outright blunder um, because of the next move. Uh, actually, the missed the next move. Actually, uh, lesser even would have been e, root E eight, but still, uh, I think uh, um, black needs to be precise. Otherwise, he'll get no way of the board. Um, white A eight six, and not that a lot, lot of threats in the position. Taking the bishop would uh, also lead to a disaster for um, for black because of knight d3, uh, rook d3, and the queen has to move, and the rook is also on the third rank and on d3 with a uh, uh, very good position for knight uh, h6 is on the So um, I think uh, rook e8 would have been better. Um, and Queen C7 also runs into the same tactic as in the position, as has happened in the in the game. So Rook Queen B8 was played, um, supporting the knight. But I think uh, Swidler missed the next move, Knight D6. This is an excellent move. I think uh, you have to give double exclamation mark for this move uh, because the idea is Queen takes D6, now Bishop takes H7, and uh, the Queen would. Fall, uh, so he cannot take the knights, and uh, so Switzerland tried to, um, to to protect the knight with f6, but it runs into queen e4, returning a checkmate on its own, and g6, a necessary evil to prevent the mate. Now ph file is open, and g6, h6, queen rook h6, returning to play rook takes g6. And also to double the rooks on the. Actually, I'm trying to take on d1 because uh, back will be made. In d6, we should see for check. I think the better would have been rook g6, uh, and the game would have been. Um, in g7, and rook g6, and uh, here in this position, black design because there's nothing much to do. After my g6, uh, rook takes d6. You can see that uh, the bishop is uh, hanging, and after knight e5, there are many ways to win actually um, in this position. Um, you, I mean, the simply white is material up at the superior position, and uh, black's king is vulnerable. So, black design is an excellent game. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this game. It's a wonderful. So I'll be also uh, trying, you know, uh, creating a video on King's Gambit uh, theory in the future. Um, so until until then, until next time, it's bye bye. And um, if you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel and also like this video and share the video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.